Dear Nobel laureates, speakers, ladies and gentlemen, dear students. How to summarize what we have heard here today? Well, rather than summarizing, the task for us is to get emboldened, to be inspired to make a difference. That is what learning and education enable us to do. To quote Nobel Peace Laureate Malala Yousafzai, she said, let us pick up our books and our pens. They are the most powerful weapons. One child, one teacher, one book, and one pen can change the world. As we learned today, there are many ways of learning. We find our own paths and motivations. The key is to find those motivations and to have someone inspire us. Often, it's a special teacher that gives us that necessary spark, as we just heard a few minutes ago. In Malala's case, the Taliban banned her and many other girls from attending school. Just think about that for a minute. Think about lives not lived, the potential not fulfilled. The doors to economic opportunity, to ideas and to freedom closed shut. It seems incredible that in this day and age, we still have to fight for putting girls to school. But fight we will until every single child is given that gift. It's also worth reflecting for a moment on the incredible progress we have achieved. Progress in education the last 125 years is one of humanity's greatest achievements. In the year 1900, just one year before the first Nobel Prize was awarded, only 20% of the global population were literate. Only one in five people. Today, 86% of people are literate, nearly nine out of 10 people. How will education and science evolve in the next century? Well, obviously, we need to encourage more women into STEM, for sure. It's now clear that in the coming decades, artificial intelligence we have, will have an enormously disruptive impact on education and science. We discussed that just a while ago. There are many unknowns, but there are also many risks. It's important now that we build the institutions to allow us to navigate this transformation in ways that benefit society. This is why events like this today are so important. This is a moment to explore ideas and have space to discuss the challenges very openly. So thank you all for contributing to such a lovely and lively debate. This is the sign of a healthy intellectual society. Finally, when speaking about learning, I would like to remind you that it's just a bit more than a week until we announce this year's Nobel Prizes. And tied to that, we publish teacher material for all teachers around the world to quickly explain this year's Nobel Prizes to their students. So if you're a teacher, please go on our website, nobelprize.org, to find those every day, well, after 24 hours, and recommend it to your peers. And there you will also find information about our teacher global network. So with this, I would like to thank you all, distinguished Nobel laureates and speakers, for all we have heard and learned together, to Professor Uk Jong Ju and Professor Ari Moon at CAST for this great collaboration, and not least to Ye Hong Li and the entire team for your fantastic work. Our Nobel International Partners, 
3M, ABB, Capgemini, EQT, H2 Green Steel, and Scania for your support. To the Embassy of Sweden and the Ambassador, Daniel Volven, and not least to my dear and wonderful colleagues to pulling this off. You are fantastic. Finally, thank you all for attending Kam Samida. So, uh, before our very last closing speech, uh, it just remains for me to once again thank you all for being here. It's been an enormous pleasure working with you all, working with CAST, and being here in Seoul. When this ends, I'd like to ask special guests to follow the signs to the reception. But for now, that's it from me, and I would, it's just my pleasure to introduce Eri Moon, who is Vice President for External Affairs at CAST and Chair of the Local Organising Committee. Please join me in welcoming Eri Moon. Distinguished laureates, panelists, and our respectable colleagues and students. Good afternoon. It is my great pleasure and honor to deliver clo closing remarks. Uh, thanks to your active participation, I am happy to say that the Nobel Prize Dialogue, Seoul 2023, was successful and fruitful. Uh, we have a total of 1,150 attendees today. And most of the attendees are still here. Uh, like Adam uh, suggested before, why don't we give a big applause to ourselves? <laughs> we deserve it. The CAST is uh, one of the most prestigious organizations comprised of uh, Korean leading scholars in science and technology. We are very pleased to have hosted this event in cooperation with uh, Nobel Prize Outreach. Hosting this event was a special, precious, and grateful experience to us. On behalf of the local organizing committee, I would like to express my sincere appreciation to the Nobel Prize laureates and the panelists who shared their precious experiences and valuable insights on today's theme of future learning. I would also like to thank Mr. Vidar Helgeson, uh, the executive director of the Nobel Foundation for his great support. My sincere appreciation goes to the CEO of uh, the Nobel Prize Outreach, Ms. Laura Sprechman, and the CSO, Dr. Adam Smith, for their numerous efforts over the past three years, from planning to conducting this event. I also appreciate the partners for their generous support. My special thanks goes to the members of the organizing committee and the staffs, especially Mr. Jaehyung Lee, who made this event a reality. Without their enthusiasm and devotion, this event would not have been possible. Since the essence of this event was a dialogue, I would like to express my gratitude to all of you who actively participated and contributed to enriching the conversations. This event gave us a venue to explore a variety of aspects on the current situations and future prospects 
of learning and educating. Furthermore, I believe that the insights and expertise of the Nobel Prize laureates as well as the panelists will be profitable to us in reaching our knowledge and thoughts on the purpose of education, digital transformation, scientific creativity, and diversity in STEM, or STEAM. Hopefully, the Nobel Prize Dialogue Seoul 2023 provided a wonderful platform to share and exchange ideas, which would greatly contribute to the promotion of science and technology through educating future generations with wisdom and balance. September is a good time to visit Korea. I hope you have a beautiful memory during your stay and have a safe trip back to your country. Once again, I would like to extend my sincere appreciation to all of you. Thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you again in the near future. <laughs>